Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam and this is a Dura Heat River Birch. This is the beautiful Dura Heat River Birch. Dura Heat River Birches can reach 35, maybe 40 feet in height, probably 20 to 30 feet in width over time with most of the width occurring right near the top of the plant. Like all river birches, they're extremely cold hardy. They grow in the colder areas of the country for the most part. This one will grow in zone three and down to zone seven. Like most river birches, Dura Heat's gonna be very fast growing. This thing can grow two to three feet in a single season. This one right here is probably 35 feet tall and it's been in this spot maybe 12 years. This is definitely a sun loving tree. If you put it in any shade initially, I think it would stretch out and it probably would eventually reach the light, but I don't think it would ever recover the really nice full look that it's supposed to have. River birches do get big enough to offer some shade. They're probably not a great choice on a very small lot because the roots can get kind of aggressive. And if you're trying to do an intense landscape in a small space, uh, this thing can end up not playing nice with some of your other plants if you're trying to squeeze things in. This is really a better plant on a larger lot. It's very similar to a weeping willow in that it doesn't play nice with other plants. It prefer to be in a moist area. People tend to take these home and put them in the middle of their lawn in suburbia on a slope and they get very little water and they do okay. They end up thin by the end of summer if you're not giving them additional water. They will go through a leaf drop in June. They come out and just grow like mad in April and May until early June. And as soon as it becomes a little bit dry and a little bit hot, they'll start shedding leaves. If they're in a space that they're not happy in, that leaf drop can really go wild. And you can end up with only about 25 or 30% of the leaves that you initially had on it. So it prefer to be in an area that stays moist, but not necessarily wet. The primary features on Dura Heat River Birch is it's supposed to be more insect and disease resistant. And I certainly haven't had any disease related issues. We'll get a little bit of leaf spot on this one. They have never really had any chewing insects on them. It's almost always full of caterpillars and that's just true of river birches in general. I tend to see caterpillars absolutely love them. Uh, they have this incredibly beautiful exfoliating bark on the base that comes in time when you initially buy your tree. It's likely not to have any of this papery bark going on but eventually it will and it's just it's really beautiful um, just paper like she, as you can see it's just a beautiful multi-trunked tree that has incredible character and offers quite a bit of shade i've included videos in the description of this video for planting woody trees and shrubs uh, i think you'd have a hard time really hurting uh, river birch initially uh, make sure you break the roots up on it It'll almost certainly be root bound when you take it out It doesn't like containers at all and it, they'll wrap in there pretty aggressively Don't cover anything that's not covered when you take it out of the container You know just have it look exactly the same when you're finished go back and pull your mulch away from it a little bit Believe it or not river birches are susceptible to root rot Dura heat is supposed to be more resistant to root rot well, when I plant a river birch uh, I actually will plant it in an area that I think is gonna stay moist, but I will mound it up a little bit so that the crown of the plant ends up staying above that and that the roots are down in the wetter soil or more moist soil. And I don't actually let the part of the tree that actually enters the ground be below grade or will collect water around it. Otherwise you have the potential to actually rot these. The first year your river birch is in the ground, you're gonna to wanna to check on the watering. Occasionally go dig down a couple inches if it's dry, water it well and saturate the entire area around it. These are actually pretty drought tolerant once they're established. But like I said, they'll go through that leaf drop if they become too dry. So like I say, this is not a plant that drought's going to kill, but it can make it awfully unattractive. So sometime in late spring or early summer, as the temperatures start to get hotter, and the soil starts to get drier, this is a plant you're probably gonna to wanna to check on. Dura Heat River birches have beautiful new foliage in the spring, and you can encourage more of that by fertilizing them. I'd fertilize these in the very late winter or early spring, something that lasts three to four months for outdoor plants that needs to run out by midsummer so this thing can go to sleep naturally. Any pruning you're gonna to wanna to do on the top of this birch you need to do while it's smaller, you can take these and you know, do a little bit of trimming on them before you put them in the ground. You will have to take some lower limbs off in the future. The limbs tend to come, they'll come up at a slight angle, but mostly they're coming out 
almost at a 90 degree angle from the tree. So some of those are definitely gonna have to be limbed up. And a lot of times when I'm planting a tree, if I already know that that limb's coming off in the future, I'll go ahead and take them off. I probably bring all of these lower branches up to maybe four or five feet on here because knowing that they're going to have to come out in the future no reason to have the plant put the energy into them now so what are you waiting for even you can grow the fast growing beautiful duraheat river birch thank you for watching my video and if it was helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos also comment below with any questions you have about trees thanks for watching <music>